The next news is out of India. Hyderabad priests worship cows to prevent child rapes in India. Priests offered prayers to control child rape cases across the nation by worshiping cows in Chiklur Balaji Temple. Cow worship has been an old method to combat uh, with any sort of crisis, so we plan to offer prayers in order to curb child rape cases being reported in our society, priest Ranga Rajan said. Three cows will take three par Parakrama rounds and Balaji temple sanctum. The three Parakrama will represent words, deeds, and thoughts respectfully, he added. So yeah, um, they're, they're worshipping cows to control child rape. Thank you, I guess. Um, wait, are they actually worshipping the cows? Because I hear a lot of Hindu apologists saying, like, we're not worshipping the cows, we just revere the cows. Is it actual worship or is it revering? What is it? The words that they used are worshipping the cows. Wait, uh, this is the words that they themselves, these priests, are using? Yes. Are you sure? Okay, yes, yeah, India Today. The Cow sources. worship has been an old method to combat any sort of crisis, so we plan to offer prayers in order to curb child rape cases being reported in our right, society, right. priest Ranga Rajan said. So right. cow worship? By the way, this is the source is India Today, okay? We, we're, we're using sources from India itself, or people that say like, oh, this is West, biased Western media, okay? Um, so is Sopam in the chat because we need his Sopam is saying they are worshipping the cows okay good because Sopam is in, has the best information for us when it comes to uh, Hinduism thank you for being here uh, Sopam our GV is saying found it um, yeah this is real what do you f say to people well at least they have good intentions what do you think what do you say to that well, I think that it, this is this is ludicrous. Uh, he's saying that child rape was an alien term in India, but now that they've adopted the Western education system and culture, they're witnessing more and more rape cases. What, in what India. culture? Say that again. The Western education system. So now they're saying that because they started adopting the Western education system over there, they're starting to see more child rape cases. Are you fucking serious? Way to take yeah, responsibility for your problem. it was problem. alien to them. You didn't have child rapes until Western society came and influenced you. How come that? How how is it that you have more rapes than Western societies? And if it was because of, if if it's because of Western society that is like how is it that rape culture is such a bigger problem in India than if if it's the influence of Western societies? But are you fucking serious? Wait, way to take responsibility. Fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, yeah. So you're not you're not helping. Okay, at all, and you're also not taking responsibility. You're not doing. You're not even looking at the actual source of the problem, and you're blaming things that has nothing to do with child rape. Is coming from Western society has introduced you to child rape. Are you fucking serious? He also goes on to say children are not safe in our country anymore. Anymore? Oh, it's a new problem for you. Such incident in our old literature. Oh real? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, no, you used to burn women when their husband died. That was that was. Is that Western culture? Is that Western culture? In fact, were, weren't there Westerners that uh, saved you from burning women alive? Maybe you should be thanking Western culture for influencing your society a little bit. Um, Soraya is saying cow is the best food material and worshiping material for. Uh, well, I always pronounce this right. What is the upper caste called? Brahman? Brahmins? Brahmins, right? The edge <clears throat> is silent. And radical Hindus. Uh, hold on. Where is GV saying, I guess this is the thoughts and prayers of India. <laughs> yeah. Sopam is saying, right wing conservatives and Hindus often blame the West for every bad thing. Yeah, I mean, they're very much like Muslims and with that. Um. You were saying I give him that kids are safer with cows than with kids. Oh, uh, you were saying sorry. Correction for my previous comment. He has a point that kids are safer with cows than the, with priests. Um, do do Hindu priests also uh, are like Catholic priests when it comes to average child molestation rates? Compared to the average population, somebody tell us. John is saying I think this is a big mistake. Steak as in cow is a pun. Um, Scott is saying, hey, at least these priests are trying to prevent child rape. 
rather than committing child rape and trying to cover it up like Catholic priests? No, Scott, because the Catholic priests are also having holy the Holy Spirit to prevent child rape. This is not very much different from the Catholic priests, okay? They're not trying to pre prevent anything. The, the Vatican just recently had a, a, a huge... They're not trying, they're trying to, do you think the, Cath the Catholic Church is not, not trying to pretend like they're pre uh, preventing child rape? They had a huge cer ceremony where they brought in the Holy Spirit. So it's the same bullshit. Um, and this God is saying, sure, sure, their thoughts and prayers are useless and in, uh, ineffectual, but their heart is in the right place. Small victories, I guess. Well, then you can say the same thing about the Catholic Church because they had the, the Holy Spirit also. They invited him to solve all the child molesting problems. Would you say that about the Catholic Church? No. In fact, this this is a, this is a, this makes it, the whole thing more dangerous, right? Because, for example, just like the Catholic Church, like, pretend that they take... Because I went to Catholic churches and I talked to people and I asked them, do you think... What do you think the, about the child molestations and how you're, uh, uh, what is the Vatican doing about it? And a lot of them have been convinced that, you know what, we know the Pope and the Vatican is taking care of it. You know, they, they're, they're doing actively fighting it. And what, what, do, what have they done? They invited the Holy Spirit. Like they, ha they didn't invite the police. They are not doing proper investigations. They're not arresting people and sending them to jail in handcuffs. No, they invite the Holy Spirit. So in fact, this is a, Doing this is worse than doing nothing because now a lot of a lot of the Catholics could be like oh Yeah, they're taking care of it and they keep donating it like at least they think like you know The Vatican is not part of the problem because they are doing something so they keep supporting the organization That actually hides child molesters, right? So sometimes doing something uh, That pretends that you is helping is worse than doing nothing at all um Bruce is saying, I actually worship cows myself. Well, only certain cuts, actually, like the ones for... Okay, it's a cow joke. Um, let me see. So, Pam is saying, ancient Indian women used to wear more revealing clothes than ancient Western women, but they still say that showing skin is a Western thing. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's interesting because they have the Kama Sutra, right? They have the Kama Sutra with all this... Um, you, sexy positions and like we, we stuff that even in in modern western societies people think it's a little bit too far uh, and that that shit is ancient and they're like oh yeah the western society is introducing us to scandalous ways like are you fucking serious um anyways i'm swearing too much sorry I'm trying to fa YouTube is going to punish me for it, guys. Please share our YouTube videos because they I can't stop myself from swearing, and YouTube punishes us uh, when it, by not suggesting our videos when I swear. So please help us out here and share our videos. Um, Michael is saying instead of actually helping the kids, they go to church to pray, all while kids keep getting molested. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.